Hopkins' offensive attack has come alive here. It's kept the Wildcats in this as the three-point barrage for Huntington picked up speed as well. Well, based on record, it certainly would appear the Wildcats should be favored tonight. Yet, uh, if you look at some of the uh, competition of who each team has played, uh, most recently both teams have played St. Xavier out of Illinois. Both teams have lost to them, and uh, uh, Huntington kept it closer in their loss. Another big three-pointer by Tyler Alt. That is his third, isn't it? Yes, and he's in the double digits now with 11 points, Mark. Patrick Hopkins, thinking about uh, taking a long jumper, decided to drive in. Instead, he takes the shot, is going to be fouled. This time, it appears that foul should go on, it does, number 45, Caleb Kennedy. You see that the Wildcats have maintained with the game plan of staying inside, going through Hopkins. Hopkins already with eight, didn't play the first three minutes, so in about five minutes of action, the point's piling up quickly for Patrick. And he misses the first free throw. The Foresters have four team fouls, so it's something to keep our eye on. Patrick Hopkins still has one more shot. Now both teams are substituting quite a bit. We're far enough into this first half for good substitutions. And Hopkins misses his second free throw, rebounded by Merriman. Baser bringing the ball up against DJ Bettinger. Bettinger providing some good defense as they come up the floor. Alt guarded closely by George Jones. They're staying on him in man-to-man -man coverage. Merriman drives on the inside. Greathouse, nice job of blocking that shot. DJ Bettinger tossing it to Widener who drives.